Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to a, another episode of Bolchi Reviews. So today on this episode, I think that I'd like to check something out. This one is quite an interesting review. It is going to be uh, a beverage, but as before, um, well, you know what? Let's 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 just bring it out. Let's just showcase what we got today. So we're just gonna lay it and just the slide. Bingo bongo. It's the Kirkland Signature Traditional Holiday Eggnog Liqueur. It is an alcoholic beverage. So as I've said before, you know, <laughs> drink responsibly because that is a whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. That's about 14, almost 15%. Dang, this is some tasty stuff. And uh, I'm not sure if you're going to read it there, but it says, what does it say? <laughs> Spiced rum, brandy, French vanilla, and then it also says whiskey up here. Let's give it a nice little, nice little, you can see what's going on. Ooh, some air bubbles. Look at that. It's like a, like a gosh dang lava lamp for all you uh, lava lamp lovers out there. I know some magic players are. Um, so yeah, we've got the eggnog, and that's what we'll be tasting today. And then I thought it's like a nice special treat. We could drink it out of like a very fancy glass. So I'd like to present to you guys the Bitburger Pills glass. And look at this guy. I don't even, where did I find him, huh? On the street, maybe. Has the, uh, we can almost see it there. Let's really just bring it on up, beam, beam it up like it's a, uh, like a spaceship and aliens trying to get it there. So yeah, it's a 0.2 liter glass. And, oh, we got something on the bottom. Let's see. 1979, you know. Um, I wasn't alive then, but I, I, you know, that could have been a good year. I feel like sevens and nines generally uh, are good years. But, you know what, let's, uh, let, let's pour some Nog. And as they say, stay hydrated, drink responsibly, and uh, care careful not to go, careful not to go Nog wild. Because you can really go Nog wild. You got to be... Nog can be sneaky. And I know... I know David Chang said he wants to meet the person who gets drunk on eggnog, but, like... <laughs> has he been to the Midwest? Like, has he... Does he know at Christmas? Like, that, that's a thing. For sure. Well, let's get porn. And there, there you have it, folks. Look at that. Let me just get that right in. The nog. You know, let's just be careful. We're going to be real careful here. Oh, gosh. This is terrifying. Just give me the sauce, poppy. Ooh. You know, why, why don't we just stop there, you know? We don't want to go nog wild. We just want to have a sip. We just have a nice sip. One sip. One sip. We just want a nice sip of the nog to really just, uh, I better make sure this lid's on tight because I am going to lay it. So if we see any drips, you know what to do. I, I don't think we got any drips here. So now that we got our lovely glass of nog poured, Look at that. It's just doing that thing where it like sticks to your glass and you gotta rinse it out. Hey, you know what? Good roommates. Always rinse your dishes. Just makes it easier. Or just put them in the dishwasher. Everybody loves that. Let's have a sip. One sip. And I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like to, when I'm drinking some Nog, kind of like, I don't know, swish it around a bit. Get some of those flavors. Like, this one is, it's, wow. <laughs> it's boozy. You can taste the spiced rum really, really cuts through nicely. Um, it's got nice creamy flavors. It's, and like right there on the finish too, it's kind of like tingling your tongue with that, uh, I imagine it's like the cinnamon from the spiced rum. But, man, this is, this is good. You can, uh, you know, you can feel it for sure. So then, let's see. Let's see what we 
good. I want to keep showing the glass. I like holding it like this. It's pretty nice. Um, I guess the nutmeg. I feel like people normally do the nutmeg. We could, you know, sprinkle some nutmeg on top here for some, how they say, aromatics. Ooh, so fancy. Um, but yeah, I think this eggnog is actually really good. And not to... Oh, and for those who don't know, uh, the Kirkland Signature brand here, that's like Costco brand. And for those of you who don't know, and it's fine if you don't know, like that's fine. Costco is kind of like this, uh, it's kind of like this like massive warehouse kind of place where you can go and you can buy stuff like this product and they sell things kind of like in bulk. So if you want like, I don't know, if you want some orange juice, they're like, okay, we have orange juice, but you have to buy like Four, you have to buy like four gallons of it or else you can't buy it and they're like can I, I just need a little orange juice and they're like Costco's like no four gallons if you don't like Costco you could almost just make this at home I mean the ingredients are like right there and you just throw all that together it might not taste the same and I've had homemade nog I've had a lot of homemade nog and I gotta say still still great still great I'm not sure if this is the best nog I've ever had but as uh as drake would say you know top five i think we we counted i think he said it four times but that's all right um so this nog we'll give it one last sip here oh yeah easily this nog right here four pias let's flip it over just to show again Dude, the little the little log cabin, little fence. It's snowy. Four pias out of five on this here eggnog. It's boozy, it's spiced, it's creamy. It, it's what you want in a holiday nog. And, and the thing that's nice is like you bring this to a party and people are gonna be like, "Oh, you didn't make your own eggnog." And then they try it and they'll be like, "Oh, hey, th th this is actually like, this is pretty good. This is quite good stuff." And then it'll hit them, and they'll go nog wild. That's the key. You really want, you really want people to doubt you, and then they 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 hit the nog out of their lovely Bitburger Pills glass, and then they go nog wild. And I think that's the goal. So, I feel like you definitely get your worth, your value out of it, if you're a nog person. So if you or a nog lover are looking for some, apparently some really cheap strong nog with the, it's got some nice spice to it. This might be the one for you. Um, as always, uh, I'll post some links in the bottom down, boop, boop, down there. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you guys are into it. If you guys want to see more or have any reviews that you want me to do, th just throw them in the comments. I uh, check it quite often. Or go on the Instagram, which I'll post boop, right there. And. Let, let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want reviewed. I think um, we've got some cool stuff. Cheers. Thank you for watching.